What you got going on there, Joe? Causing problems. <laughs> so as you see on this side, got lag bolts in with a chain. Just doing the same thing to the other side. So it can't be towed from either direction. We don't we don't pin ourselves in. Alright, here we go. We're mobile. Simple chain, lag nuts or lag bolts into both feet, hooked around the trailer hitch. The system will be improved over time, but we want to prove that this rudimentary system is possible. You're good. Here we go. this over to our west pasture because the grazing schedule currently has the west pasture scheduled this weekend for a move hey we didn't break it all right all right there we go get the chain out the way Chain. All right, so once we move the cows in, they got a new mineral feeder. Well, they got the same mineral feeder in a new spot. That area will get hit hard with some manure and urine. And then let me show you. I should have captured where it was. Hold on real quick. I want to go see concentration of uh, fertilizer in the previous spot. Probably need to angle those ends. Follow the tracks. You can see where it was. This is another reason you can see right here how the grass started to turn. We don't want to leave it in one place for too long. We want to reduce the amount of times that grass gets damaged and disturbed. But you can see all the manure that was around this area. While the cows either ate or were waiting in line. Oh man, look at that. That's a ton over there. Not literally, but that area's got more fertilizer in it now, natural fertilizer, than it ever did. And then off in the distance there, you can barely see it. We do have a truck uh, that came in. It's going to spread fertilizer on this pasture, it's going to spread fertilizer on the far pasture. That's not our preference, okay? What we don't know is what we don't know. And we want to increase the amount of forage in every one of our pasture, right? The idea is to cultivate and grow subsurface microbes, above surface grass, but we're just not growing fast enough to give the land time to recover with our current grazing schedule. Now, every penny of that fertilizer that we spent this year, we're hoping we can reinvest into seed or cows or irrigation or some other type of infrastructure, some type of improvement where we get to the point where we're only spending money on something that feeds a cow or improves the life of the cow. We want to get away from synthetics. But we have to recognize where we are today. We'll do what we gotta do, because we're confident in our plan. We're the only ones doing it in this area of Florida. So we're, we're very satisfied and optimistic with our plan and our vision. And somebody else, I'm sure they're pointing at us and they're laughing. They think we're crazy. But this is where crazy meets crazy, out here on the pasture. All right, you guys have a good one. We'll talk to you soon.